All right, so there's a storm coming. Hopefully we can beat it, but we'll get some work done in the meantime. So I'm back at Barndo 214 today, and there's a lot going on here today. The framers are working, and uh, as you can imagine, there's a lot of framing to do. The uh, shop is uh, almost done, but anyway, let me go in there and show you what's going on. All right, so let me tell you what's going on here. Like I said, I'm here at Barndo 214. We have made some changes and now we have to deal with it. Uh, it is not a problem. I think all the changes we have made are gonna make this project even better. Let me show you what's going on. In the living room, we have, so this is a pitch roof, okay? So it pitches like this. You know what? I'll do one better. This is what it looks like, okay? This is the pitch. What we planned to do originally was follow the pitch of the roof. About halfway in, we're gonna flatten it out like this, and then we're gonna follow the pitch all the way back down. The reason for this was to run our ductwork. Although that's a good idea, I really don't like the way it's gonna look, okay? Now we have between the beams and the purlins, we have eight inches. We can foam this barn though. If we foam it with closed cell, we minimize the thickness from six inches down to about two and a half to three inches. Okay, that leaves us five inches in the clear. Instead of running one big eight inch duct, we can run multiple four inch ducts or five inch. So I'm, I'm meeting with my AC guy. I, I already discussed it on the phone and he says it'll work uh, because we have a lot of room in these, uh, between the purlins that we can run ductwork. And that's going to allow us to run now the drywall all the way up to the peak and back down, which is gonna look a lot better. That's number one. Number two, this, Second story calls for two by 12 ceiling joists, okay? I am not a big fan of that. So we went with 16 inch eye joists. They're much better. They are more consistent in height. However, we lost some room up here, right? Those, those four inches that we lost down there because of the extra, uh, on the joist on the first floor, push this all the way up, which means now we don't have the clearance what we thought we we're supposed to have on the second story. So what we're gonna do is drop the ceiling joist on that wall, right flush with the bottom of that beam, and then we're gonna slope the bedrooms to match the living room. Okay, so I think overall it's gonna work out. It's actually gonna look better, in my opinion, than the original design. And not only that, we have a better first floor, the joist, the, the whole the whole thing is better, in my opinion. The, the only one that I'm right now kind of dealing with is the AC work, but my AC guy said, shouldn't be a problem, he's gonna run some calculations. And if we can do it, I would like to do that instead, because like I said, I think it'll look better if we pitch it all the way up rather than pitching it, you know, about halfway and then flattening it out in the middle simply to run duck work. All right, so there you have it, Barndo 214, moving right along. Uh, we still haven't poured the uh, sidewalks over here. Uh, we were supposed to pour it this week, but it went to raining again. So uh, maybe next week we'll be able to come in here and get these things poured out. And obviously I will show you. And as I was leaving, I could not see this pothole and 
man, I feel right in it. You can tell. Fill in right here and it bounced all the way to here. And I wasn't even going fast. I had just gotten going. You can tell on this side how it dug in. It slid about that far. You can tell right there. So, man, scared the crap out of me. Said I wasn't even going fast. I was just getting going. And uh, big pothole. I need to check the truck, make sure nothing broke. And then I need to put something here so that nobody else falls in this hole like I just did. Man, that's a deep hole. That's, that's a good 20 inch deep hole. That's, that's a whole lot of hole. <laughs> have much here with me but hopefully that'll keep somebody from driving through that hole uh, I'm gonna call my framers right now and ask them that when they leave that they bring a maybe a stake or something a sawhorse or something to put right here in the way because see, my truck hit pretty freaking hard on that so I don't want it to happen to anyone else alrighty we'll see you next time we are Texas Barnum Inc.